the best of the Bill and Corey show. Uh, the customer, we had a customer who had some uh, pressure stability issues with the Model 3030 regulator. Mm. Now, the Model 3030 regulator, that is a, it's our high delivery, it's one of our high delivery pressure regulators. So I'm going to explain a little thing, a couple things about how a uh, regulator works, and then we'll get on. And that one's typically the, used on the types of cylinders that are way above three, that are above 3,000 nah, we, we sell a lot 3,000, but this, this will have 1,500 PSI yeah, deliveries, yeah, yeah. one of the ranges, 2,500 PSI. So yeah, when you need that really high delivery pressure. Now this is a standard two-stage regulator without any gauges or anything else in it, but this is the body of it. Um, and, and our regulators and pretty much everybody else's are about the same. And it has the bonnet, which has the spring mm -hmm. compressors on the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. And then you've got a valve mechanism in there to help control the pressure. Now with the, and these are typically, these kind of regulators are typically good for about 500 PSI delivery pressure. There's different ranges. Um, so, you know, above 500, then you got to go to a different kind of regulator. So you can see this is a, um, I actually want to kind of zero it. Zoom in on that one. There we go. Yeah, that's Turn a little the diaphragm. Side. It's this one's stainless steel. It's kind of thin. It gives you some flexibility yeah, against the pressure. It's thin, and you can actually bend it with your fingers. It's that thin. Yeah, that that's actually the reason why it works. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. What happens is you have a little uh, pr uh, force balance with a regulator. Is that is that a Star Wars reference? The force. Yeah, balance? the force. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a uh, spring. Is going to provide force on this side. That's what you're adjusting now. We'll push on against the diaphragm, and that's how you. Would, so you've got the pressure is pounds per square inch. Yeah, it's coming up. The so, pressure is coming up underneath the diaphragm. Yeah, so you get pressure here, gas this, pressure, and the spring, and you balance it with this uh, mechanical pressure of the spring. And the more this is, the more the more it pushes down, the more pressure it'll yeah, let through. The, yeah, the more force it has. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and it's nice to have. You know, this is springy. I'm not going to use this one again. Um, it's spring. You see, it has to have some springiness. It does. To it. it does. So you can adjust the pressure, so because mm -hmm. it goes in and out mm -hmm. and stuff. So above. I mean, I mean like like a di You know, think of, if think of a soft diaphragm. You know, or your diaphragm and your. You know, it moves. Yeah, yeah. They move. Yeah, it moves. That's how you adjust yeah. the pressure. Yeah. So you get higher than five. You know, 500 psi. This isn't going to hold it. And if you went with thicker metal, then it, it wouldn't be springy. It wouldn't be flexible. Yeah. So you, you got to. There's balances here. Mm -hmm. So this is the the 30 30. And you want to zoom in on this one again. This this is a piston regulator, and that's. That's what you're using instead of diaphragm. Uh, it's this little piston. Yeah, it's a little piston. And it's got uh, O-ring seals on there. Put that in a small car engine. It'll work. No, it's just. <laughs> 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 and it also has. It'll also have a spring pressing on it too. Now this this is so. Reason why you do that is uh, well a couple couple reasons. One is because this isn't going to be able to hold the high pressure. Mm -hmm. And then this you've got different areas. So this is. This diaphragm is seven times the the area of this uh, yeah. piston, and you can you can zoom out. Um, so uh, you don't need to have as big of a spring to push on it, because mm -hmm. you get to a point you get springs, and how you know, what are you gonna you do? Get, we get like a car spring or something like that. Pogo stick actually. spring. Yeah, pogo stick. It's, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's limits to your spring size, and then the mechanically to try to turn it in, you got to screw yep. to give you mechanical advantage. So for the higher pressure regulators, a lot of times they go with the, the piston. And the reason why, a couple of reasons why you don't get as sensitive pressure is because if you get a little, this is like I said, this is the kind of spring you're doing here. If you, um, you know, this is a mechanical thing and you're turning it in. Mm -hmm. So if you have a slight fluctuation in pressure here, mm -hmm. it's going to have a bigger impact on the smaller diameter. Yes. Uh, Pressure, uh, the piston <laughs> versus, yeah, so this is one-seventh the size. Mm -hmm. So if you have the same spring pressure, it's, it's, you're going to have, it, it, it's not going to give you the tight control. Yes. Uh, because it's a small area. And it also has O-rings, and they can, this looks like yeah, it's like a Vuitton and then a Teflon in there. But they can, they can stick a little bit too. Mm. So, yeah, if you really want smooth 
it's a trade-off. You it's a trade-off. You either, yeah, you either get higher pressure, or but 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 at the same time, if you're at you know if you're getting two thousand psi, you know even plus or minus even the gauge plus or minus two percent. It's a big oh thing. yeah, well actually with, with a gauge, 2,000 psi gauge, where they're operating yeah. 550, it, the gauge is plus or minus 40. Yeah, and, so... And they're getting uh, like plus or minus, they're getting 20 psi difference. Okay. Now, for high pressure regulators, we've got, there's a different, some people, now this is a really high pressure regulator. This is for... How high is it? <laughs> this can go to 6,000 psi delivery pressure. Wow. So you use this on the really high... 6,000 Yeah, and this one can like accept system. like 9,000 or something? Like in, it could in, be 10,000. 10,000 in. For stainless steel, I think 7,500 for brass. This is their 3060 series? Yes, yes, yes. So this is it's a little hunkier, beefier yeah. kind of setup. It's got some really serious washers in here. It actually has, they kind of call it a diaphragm. It, looks just, it just looks like a big piston to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a diaphragm piston valve. Yeah, it's got <laughs> a, oh, sorry. And this, this uh, I didn't know how to take it apart, so I kind of mangled up the rubber because mm. I like That was probably going to leak through the diaphragm. When you, yeah, this is, this is not, <laughs> this is one demo thing that we've had for a long time. But I also, like, like I, I twisted it to pull it out, mm. and it's not good to twist. Rubber, you know, soft rubber, goods, yeah. soft goods. You know, it's not good to twist it back and forth. Yeah, yeah you want to zoom in on this? It's a little broken, but you can kind of see the, uh, pretend this is all one thing. But this is <laughs> this is a thick neoprene, so the spring will push, and it, it has some springiness to it. So if you want smoother pressure control at really high pressures, uh, you should go with the 3060 series instead of the 3030 series. So it's kind of a trade-off. You can't always get everything you want with a pressure regulator. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's some some balance there. Um, and this this is more complicated than 3060, so it's going to cost more than the 3030. There you go. Yeah. So that's another trade-off. You know, if yeah. you want to get because you get a little bit of both with this one. Yeah, and some people make with the high pressure regulators. Uh, We'll have a use a piston mm -hmm. based one for the really high pressure regulators there. So that's uh, that's kind of the breakdown there. That uh, yeah, if you want it, the piston regulator is not good for uh, great pressure control. And if you're dealing, if you want to go with with diaphragm regulators, if you're dealing with low pressures, a lot of times you'll see a bigger diaphragm because it'll give you a better pressure control mm. uh, at the lower pressures. 